Hey everyone, it's Sarah Thrift Nurse RN.com, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about a new change that you're probably going to love that's going to be on the next generation NCLEX exam. So in my previous video, I talked about some big changes you could expect to see with the next generation NCLEX exam that's set to go live around April 2023. However, the change that I'm talking about in this video is going to make your life so much easier, and it has to do with reference ranges for lab values. So as a nurse, you have to be familiar with lab values. Values. And unfortunately, there's a lot of variation with what is considered a normal range for a particular lab value. For instance, it can really vary depending on the facility you work, the textbook you're looking at, and the laboratory. And if that's not frustrating enough, labs can be reported in different measurement units. For example, potassium can be reported as milliequivalents per liter or millimoles per liter. Now, the frustrating thing for you as a nursing student is that you spend a lot of time trying to memorize those normal ranges for the those lab values for your exams and for NCLEX. And then when you get to practice, like when you go to clinicals, you'll see that whenever you're looking at a patient's lab results, you see right there that normal reference range and it tells you whether it's high, low, or normal. So if this is something that you've been stressing out about, I have really good news for you because the next generation NCLEX exam is trying to emulate real world nursing. And now they've decided to provide you with those normal ranges for those lab values, for those actual case studies and those knowledge-based questions. So guess what? You don't have to memorize those normal ranges. That takes a lot off of you where you can put that time into studying something else. And personally, I think that was a great move. However, I do want to caution you on a few things. First, the next generation NCLEX exam is not going to be released until April of 2023. So if you're taking the NCLEX before then, you might still have some questions. In addition, some of your exams in nursing school could still decide to test you on those values. And then even though you don't have to memorize those actual reference ranges for the lab values, there's still some things you want to know about labs as a nursing student and nurse. So what you should focus on is that you'll want to know what labs mean, what they test for, what's the causes of high and low results, and the specific nursing interventions and treatments you can expect to be ordered by the physician to treat these conditions. So in my videos, I actually concentrate on those things. I have a whole comprehensive video over fluid and electrolytes where we go over those causes, those signs and symptoms and treatments to help prepare you for these exams. Okay, so that is the big change that I wanted to tell you about. And I hope you're just as excited as I am about that change because that's really going to make things a little bit easier. So thank you so much for watching.